listening to this song again a couple of times on my uh, on YouTube. It's been a while since I heard this record by LL Cool J at number 16. Up one from number 17, LL Cool J, something like a phenomenon at uh, Fancy Playlist of October 18, 1997. It was from LL Cool J's seventh album, which was called Phenomenon. The executive producer of this album, Sean Puffy Combs. Phenomenon by LL Cool J. LL Cool J kind of settled into the mainstream back by the 90s, by 1997, but boy, he was whopping it up back in the 80s, man. I'm bad. Oh, yes. That was so fun. One of the baddest ass tunes I ever heard. I'm bad by LL Cool J. Now, he was cutting edge back in the day, and there was going back to Cali. That was more, more of a commercial record for him back in 1988. The thing about LL Cool J that was so fascinating is that uh, he would do these hardcore rap records like the Booming System and uh, Mama Said Knock You Out, I'm Bad, and, and yet he would settle down sometimes and do these ballads like, uh, uh, oh gosh, I Need Love was one of them, and there was Around the Way Girl, remember that from the fall of 1990 by LL Cool J. One of my favorite songs by LL Cool J it was such a badass rap record. He was completely self-assured in this video. I've never seen anybody so self-assured as in this video. He knew he was at the top of this game. I'm that type of guy back in the summer of 1989. Remember, oh God, those memories are just flooding. <laughs> yes, LL Cool J was back. Yes, back in the day, I'm that type of guy, man. I had that great back beat, boom, 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 boom. It, it was, it was just dissing all over the place. LL Cool J. But uh, here's, but the '90s, the rap scene changed a little bit, particularly when you get into uh, 1990. 1994, you had the rise of gangster rap, uh, Snoop Doggy Dog, Ice Cube, and Dr. Dre. But you had Tupac Shakur competing against Tupac Shakur and also Notorious B.I.G. And Will Smith was still pretty popular back in the back in the 90s, although he was quite mainstream, a lot more mainstream than Tupac and uh, Dr. Dre. But LL Cool J sort of settled down by 1995 a little bit, doing songs like Hey Lover and Lounging, and of course Phenomenon coming in at number 16 on my fantasy playlist. And let me read you a few. He still had the gift. He still had the gift of doing these great lyrics. Let me read you a few of the lyrics to Phenomenon. Baby girl was draped in Chanel. Said she loved Tupac, but hates some LL. Seen her at the bar with anklets and toe rings. She could take a prince, turn him into a king. I was looking at her in the limelight. Pearly Weiss said her man get paper, but he don't live right. All these emotions flowing inside the club. Do you really want a thug, or do you want love? Badass rap right there, rap lyrics. LL Cool J still had that gift of gab as far as rapping was con concerned back in the 90s. Gosh, I just, it's hard to believe that this guy is well in his 40s. He's probably, he's probably pushing 50 now and remembering way back in the day doing I'm Bad and uh, going back to Cali. And I'm, the, I'm that type of guy. But this is lounging. Well, actually, this is phenomenon at number 16 on my fancy playlist. <laughs> 